Hello. So today I'm going to work on this uh, zombie horde Niagara simulation. So this is what you see here is a Niagara particle effect, but I'm using animated static meshes for the zombies. So here you can see they have proper animations, even though I'm using static meshes. And yesterday I showed you a method using anim to texture plugin on how to create this uh, animated static meshes. So I'm going to use that to create this zombie particle effect. So this is how you see them in the game so they are not uh, right now they are not reacting the player it's just the animation it's just the, they are like randomly moving around the world without showing any kind of a reaction but uh, in upcoming episodes we will work on how to make them interact with the player this is the tutorial that we worked on the static mesh that has animations so feel free to look uh, take a look at that i leave the link in description uh, so that you can understand how the mesh is created with animations to be used with niagara and also uh, before we get started let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all of the thousands of projects that i have done from my channel in my channel from my Patreon page uh, I'll leave the link to that also in the description right now let's get back to today's episode okay so this is where we stopped yesterday we have this uh, zombie character which is uh, not a character which is a static mesh so here you see and then i created also this niagara anime uh, effect which generates a lot of zombies uh, like this and they can run but uh, as you can see this has some issues and this is not exactly i want to implement so i'm gonna create a somewhat better Niagara simulation and dig into a little more about the material and how to have like custom offsets for each instance and things like that okay so now to get started let me remove this from the level uh, this some test and create a new Niagara system and here I'll use this uh, hanging particles as the base and a some base. And if I drag and drop, well, you see, nothing much is happening right now. So I'm going to use this as the starting point and create a somewhat better zombie particle let me open this and first thing is instead of this shape location is limited somewhat limited so i want to spawn zombies over a large area so perhaps we can get size and I increase the y size to 4000 now we will see they are spawned along this line here okay and then size vertically I will make it one so it would be one single point So it's like this okay now instead of sprite renders I'll add uh, mesh renderer and as the mesh I'll use this NS zom uh, sorry SM zombie okay, 
now this is what you get that's it and uh, if i if i put this in somewhere like this let me go here so we can see how they uh how they behave when they move down hill it like this so they are right now they are just staying on the sky because I they don't have any gravity or anything applied to them so what we can do is first I'll add gravity force and now you see they fall down and go through the ground so here if i add collision they will no longer go through ground but they are keep rotating like this okay now the next thing is i want them to have some initial movement in forward direction so spawn add velocity so this i'll make multiply vector no. multiply vector by float and this i'll have a random range uh, random range float let's say Six hundred. Okay, and we did should not have any velocity along the x axis. Doesn't look like they are having some velocity. So now they do when they rotating. okay now they are coming like this and uh, so i removed this friction and restitution i set it to one so collision radius what if i use mesh okay now now it's minimum they stay stuck but still we need to control the speed so this I'll reduce 200 and let's see still they will keep accelerating because it's a force so what we can do about is about that is we can limit here we can put a speed limit so 100 then I'm moving now okay 500 seems to work fine so again i think we should first make it work on a level ground then let's get back to a good surface okay first let's increase the amount of time so 50 to 60 now they seem to get stuck try this increase this again okay, now that does seem to help yeah that's better maybe we can reduce this
seems better okay now the next thing is here you see uh, everyone is doing the animation synchronously so in the same time that is something i need to avoid so here you see the heads are moving simultaneously in the same direction in the same time so they need to have some randomness to their animations so for that here if i go to this material we have this material attribute layers which is using this ml bone animation so here you have so this material it's inside this uh, anim to texture content this is a material layer and this has some parameters that we can control this offset for example and if i can randomize this for each uh, in each particle we can have some randomness to the animation so to do that here let me duplicate this melbourne animation i'll copy it here don't move because this is engine plugin content um, for it custom born mode born animation right now here so this uh, by default dynamic parameters are disabled so this is the part we are using and here if i want to introduce some randomness i can use particle random node which will which i will have uh, with wait, there were two so this will give us some random value for each particle instance so if i add these two together and put it here this should give some randomness to the time offset but i need to use this so ml custom bone animation so i'll go to the two materials which is this and here i'll use custom bone animation apply similarly for the pants here assign this custom bone animation okay now you see the animations have some difference they are not they are not using the same they are not simultaneously or synchronously doing the animation okay that's good so one more thing is now they are always they are going straight forward so to prevent that i first sort of adding a curl noise that would introduce some randomness but that moves the so it's not visible clear here so if i raise it tries to send them upward as well and i'm not sure how to limit that it's still not clear see so they kind of goes down and things like that happens with that and i'm i don't know how to limit this to only to the horizontal plane so therefore we we'll remove that and this gravity force here I'll make this random uh, no. Okay, now this should be no matter what. Okay. What did we have here? Five hundred. So 
this should be let's say minus 200 and plus 200 this should randomize but before randomizing let me see so they are still moving in the same fashion okay now for this alpha use a sign and period um, plot something between 5 and 10 and bias also now they should have some difference directions in movement yeah see now they are not moving forward always they have some randomness some some more zombie like but still their general direction is x direction which is forward direction and finally why not shadows so this shadow okay no Where we got the zombies. Uh, yeah, they are not doing much right now. They are just doing their own business, just moving like zombies. That's pretty much all. But we have a lot of zombies. And start is it's sixty, but I think it's a uh, lot check yes yeah yeah t dot no, the fps t dot max fps right 20 so oh, it's i'm having this uh, yeah i know it's going above 60 actually 70 but yeah that's good enough so okay so yeah this is all i want to do here and i'm gonna stop this episode right here so maybe later on let's implement something like interactions like maybe they are at coming towards the player or running away from player things like that so yeah let's look into those things in a future episode thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available here for download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye